Hello there, I'm Jeff Masejak with Burlington County Historical Society and Children's History Center in Burlington City, New Jersey. We're in Burlington City right now. The building behind me is a mansion that was built over 200 years ago by a lady named Lydia Ritchie. She lived there for a few years. I hear that she was a wealthy English woman. When she died, the building passed on to a number of different people. One of the notable people that lived there was the mayor of town, James Wall. He wasn't mayor anymore in 1861, but in that year, the Civil War had started. He had spoke up against United States policies and some of the uh, uh, various laws that were being passed, uh, the loss of habeas corpus and that sort of thing. And he was very upset with that. He was very vocal and he was accused of treason, of, of supporting the Confederate side. They arrested him right in that house while he was having dinner. He was carried away to the train station a couple blocks away and taken to New York City. And in New York Harbor, he was put on an island called Fort Lafayette. In that uh, prison, he stayed there for only two weeks. They couldn't really find any real charges against him. They let him go and he came back to town. In 1916, this became a house of worship. This building was the synagogue for B'nai Israel. B'nai Israel was a congregation. It started out as a uh, Orthodox congregation, a, a Jewish congregation, and it was here for over 90 years. And during the time, it became a conservative uh, Jewish congregation, but it's only been a few years since it's moved elsewhere. And that's another one of our episodes of On the Road.